Thank you so much, sir. Uh, you are indeed a, a very uh, well-versed person, be it in the field of acting, be it, uh, you know, in your profession as an advocate. And it's a privilege to have you here on my show. I sincerely thank you for being here and encouraging me. And I'm sure my uh, viewers or listeners are in for a treat because uh, uh, it's a pleasure being with you. I, I hope so. I hope it's a treat for uh, them. It's certainly a pleasure being asked questions from somebody um, several thousands of kilometers away, miles away, and uh, that's the beauty of technology. It's brought all of us uh, so close together. Uh, do I uh, continue the interview in English totally, or do you want me to switch to Tamil? Um, so just or, be yourself um, totally relaxed. Uh, Tamil is okay. Tamil and English on and off. Is Tamil and English is okay. No, if you want, I can talk in Hindi. So, tell me. What is it? What is it? Whatever you are talking about, I don't want to talk about it. But I don't want to talk about it. That is very difficult. Okay. That takes care of uh, addressing uh, people of all uh, language uh, preferences. So okay, um, since you started yes, uh, with, with with an introduction, you know, my profession as an advocate, I'll make a small correction. I am surrounded by advocates. I am not the advocate. Yes, this is a, this is a This is a mistake which uh, 98% of all fans make, and that has been compounded. Uh, the error is uh, aggravated by me because out of the 100 plus films I've done, nearly 50 of them I've played the role of an advocate. So everybody thinks, you know, I'm, I'm and, and my father was a famous advocate, and my brothers are, my son is, I'm surrounded, my nephews are studying law. So I would like to Case Vishnu Satta, and even Pesi Pesi Kagal wouldn't do in the wind, the Namakum Gunjam, but even the Lum Torin Ridia and Anakila and the clarification I wanted to give it to you. I did my MBA, but we'll go through the motions and in a Kelvig like Ketka, Panal, things will evolve, and by the end of this uh, little program, I'm sure uh, people should know a little more about uh, me, hopefully. Yes, sir. Or what's it's worth knowing at it's least. It's a common misconception that you are also an advocate because of mm -hmm. uh, some of your famous uh, roles that you have portrayed yes, in yes, your yes. movies. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I am a person who is 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 a person Saralama dialogue based on the Pakam Pakamaka based on the Tamil Ladu and the slight and elekna Tamil court. You need to have some pages of dialogues which you need to get into your head. Mm. By God's grace, I have a memory. I have a little bit of a little bit of a அவங்க சீன்ஸ் எழுதும் பொழுது சில கோரிக்கைகள் ஜட்ஜ் கிட்ட வைக்கிறது எல்லாம் தப்பா இருக்கும் அதாவது சட்டத்துல அதுக்கு இடமே இருக்காது ஆமா சோ அவங்க அந்த மாதிரி தவறாக கதைக்காக எழுதி இருப்பாங்க நான் அப்புறம் கூப்பிட்டு ஐயா இந்த மாதிரி எல்லாம் கேட்க முடியாதுங்க இதுக்கு ஒரு அதுவும் அரசு தரப்புல என்ன வந்து இப்படி கேட்க சொல்றீங்க ஏன்னா அரசு வக்கீலா நினையும் நியமித்து அதாவது உங்க அமெரிக்கன் பாஷையில டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் அட்டர்னிங்களே அந்த கான்ட் ஆஸ்க் சச் ரிக்வஸ்ட் ஆஃப் கோர்ட் In fact, there is no room in law for it. So, this is about the max I can ask. So, why don't you um, modify it or change the scene and make this accuse the hero who is sitting there. Let him make that plea. So he needn't be legally correct. But as an advocate, I have to be legally correct. I remember Mr. Charu Hassan, Judge Agon, and the prosecutor, one of the advocates, sir, man. 
அதுல வந்து இப்படிதான் சாருவாசன் சார் அவரும் வக்கீல் தெரியும் சாருவாசன் தான் ஏன் ஸ்டே மெசேஜ் அங்கிள் சாரு வாட் இஸ் திஸ் ஐ சே தேர் பெண்டிங் த லா லைக் திஸ் ஹி செட் வித் டிடு மோகன் தேர் டேக்கிங் அ சினிமேட்டிக் லைசன்ஸ் ஆஸ் அ ப்ரொஃபஷனல் அட்வொகேட் ஐ எம் மை செல்ஃப் டாலரேட்டிங் இட் வை ஆர் யூ கேட்டிங் திஸ் வாஸ் அபவுட் செவரல் இயர்ஸ் அகோ அப்புறம் தென் ஃப்ரம் தென் ஆன் ஐ ஸ்டார்டட் டோனிங் டவுன் மை அப்ரோச் அண்ட் ஐ சேட் ஓகே உங்களுக்கு என்ன வேணுமோ சொல்லுங்க நாங்கள் பண்ணி கொடுத்துருவோம் சம்டைம்ஸ் நாட் எவ்ரி டிரெக்டர் or uh, writer more is open to suggestions they mm-hmm. think that what they have written is close to the bhagavad gita or the quran or the bible you know something as sacrosanct or holy as that mm. so it should not be touched so if you try to explain to them there is no room in law in fact in one film i did mention it in the court scene that that man said no 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 you have to i did it and in some paper next uh, review they said uh, they are making a mockery of uh, court proceedings so yeah. the next time when i met the gentleman i made it a point to go and tell him i said look i told you so and it was pointed out in the newspapers hmm. but then it's okay but you know they the, the very well read um, educated uh, directors heroes ivangala enna pandranga na they have uh, professional advocates and uh, Uh, legal experts go through the scene a little mm. to ensure that it uh, falls within the limits of exaggeration allowed for a film mm. film like poets or poetic license no angala amma and mari cinematic license no irukku and alavukku we can exaggerate right adiyum taandi thavarana oru seidhiye vandu makkalukku nam vandu satta moolama solla kudad ipo ரொம்ப காமனான ஒரு விஷயம் என்ன தெரியுங்களா தமிழ் சினிமால நைன்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி செவன்டீஸ் வரைக்கும் அது இருந்துச்சு இன்னும் ஒரு சில படத்துல வரும் ஒரு மனிதனுக்கு திருமணம் ஆகி விடுகிறது அது வந்து வில்லன் அவன் புண்டாட்டியை தள்ளி வச்சுட்டு வேற ஒருத்தி கட்டிக்கணும்னு நினைக்கிறான்னு வைங்க அவ கிட்ட பிளாங்க் பேப்பர்ல கையெழுத்து கேட்டு மறக்குவான் என்னவோ அவ கையெழுத்து போட்டு கொடுத்துட்டா அவ ஷி இஸ் பர்மிட்டட் ஹிஸ் திஸ் இஸ் டோட்டலி நாட் இன் லா she can sign a 100 pieces of paper she can yeah. come out yeah. go to the police station and give a company and a bigamy case can be filed right the only thing in law in indian law is uh-huh. that if let's say uh, man x is there he is married mrs x mm-hmm. and they have a child mm-hmm. let's call it uh, a right. now if mr x has an affair with somebody and marries that other person legally or illegally aha uh-huh. only mrs x has a right to give a complaint of bigamy oh even the son a has no right hmm. only the aggrieved woman can go and give a complaint against her husband right this is the law yes sir now either tavaraga namma vandu oru seidhiya makkal sonnu nu veinga people get mistakes we should not guide them wrongly we need not guide them correctly but at least we should not guide them wrongly Yes, sir. I agree. Madras Linda, I want to go to Delhi. I may not give you the exact road, but at least I must say, go north. Instead of, tappa, go south and say, then come to Tirichi, Tanjavur, Kumbhavana, Nagar Goyal, Sri Lanka, and go to Delhi. Yes, ma'am. So, we have to guide them properly. If we can't give them exact directions, don't misdirect the public. That is my only, uh, you know, uh, thing about the film industry. sorry uh, where were we why did all oh, the advocate it started with the advocate. illa sir uh, what you are saying is absolutely right because as mm. an audience what i observe is vandha oru padam paakrom padam edukravanga vandha enak entertainment ah irkano entertaining ah irkano solittu rombave sentimental la they they mold me with that but uh, mm. they forget about social responsibility they say we are just film makers nanga we are not uh, you know obligated to give you the the technical stuff or uh, we don't have any social responsibility of making sure that the information we are presenting is accurate Uh, and we see lot of things like this in the plane one it will just uh, fly in all the wrong directions which you know according to the law of gravity is not possible or the hero does all types of uh, things that is just impossible you know by a human mm. being those things are okay but when it comes to legal stuff like this 
uh, I well, think that's what uh, I meant. there should be no, no, some uh, social uh, responsibility from the we, behalf of the film. No, no, no. I, I, I don't agree uh, with you totally, totally. Uh, but I don't disagree with you totally. Also, let's put it this way: you have Spider-Man, you have Avatar, you have uh, Batman. One, two, three returns. Everything. You have uh, Lord of the Rings. You have Harry Potter. Are they all viable, feasible? Don't kids get uh, brainwashed thinking that uh, there is something called magic, um, or wizards and ghouls and goblins and uh, he who shall not be named, Voldemort and so on. Ilya, Adil, it's there. Now movies are well. basically be they are a entertainment medium. Yes, sir. I agree with you that we should. not under the guise of pre- pre- you know presenting a story as close to the truth as possible na solitte appa tapan information kudukura that that man is correct. going against gravity kids you, know, you you must be aware of how many kids both in all over the world looking at that uh, wrestling thing that world wrestling federation wwf or nitro or any one of these uh, things kids play the, the those guys are trained athletes they are trained to take a fall they are trained to get a kick or give a kick namo person one 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 watch they they start cracking skulls and um, you know breaking vertebra which is wrong hmm. i agree with you but then um i wouldn't blame the producer or the director because they are they are in it for the business they can't they can't make a movie which is very close to reality and presenting everything as it is then it becomes a documentary it's only when you you go in and with a great sense of great disbelief you go does anybody sing please tell me i don't know my my marriage was about a love marriage i don't remember singing to my wife or going around trees changing <laughs> address every one minute no sir movies are all uh, about or entertainment 99% uh, entertainment but na ninga solradhu na othukuren in the court scene police scene idella varumbolude hospital scene in the moonum varumbolude they should not present facts or things which are untrue yeah they need not yeah. tell the truth again that is what i'm saying unmai solla vendam anal poiye solli vidade Perfect, sir. This is this much perfect, sir. Idu dan, sir. I was trying. Idu dan. This is this much of social responsibility is required that in the part required. of every producer. That I agree with you totally. That's why I said I agree with you partly. I disagree with you partly. Yes. It's sir. a business, ma. It's a business. We must recognize that it is a business. It is a business, and uh, we do enjoy movies as audience. We want a break from our everyday life. We want Amma. to see things that uh, we cannot imagine. Something new. We like Spider-Man. Amma, ma. ama ipo avan per enna charles bronson so many years ago played a vigilante aha uh-huh. i don't know if you remember those movies a series of movies came hmm. part 1 part 2 part 3 now the now it's something which all of us want to do hmm. play the vigilante you know that x is a criminal or y is a smuggler or z is a corrupt uh, a cop or a corrupt politician or something hmm. now this fellow went and killed them hmm. dirty harry mary or clint eastwood charles bronson panna it uh, went death wish that was the name of the movie hmm. death wish part 1 part 2 part 3 no vandiche hmm. this is something which all of us want to do in, a, in the heart of heart we'd like to go and clean the system as it were hmm. but do we do it it's not right it's not legal it's not moral it's not ethical but then that little desire is there is you even clear up punish panna maatangala Namaste. So when so when somebody does it, no, you want to go and watch it at least. All of them. Vicarious thrills. It is a lot. Everybody of fun. wants. Everybody wants a wife as beautiful as Aishwarya Rai. Can I say that? So Aishwarya Rai, but after the bath, it's one thing. Namaste. Yeah. <laughs> Every woman probably dreams of having a man with a physique like Hrithik Roshan, a voice like. Uh, அமிதாப் பச்சன் சோ கடக்காது போய் பாத்துட்டு வந்துருது ஆர் எ ஸ்பிரிட் லைக் யூ ஆ சாய்ராம் थैंक यू सो मच சோ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் சோ ஆர் அன் அட்வொகேட் ஹஸ்பண்ட் லெட்ஸ் கெட் பேக் டு யுவர் 
<laughs> let's get back to your questions because uh, we are we are sharing philosophies platitudes um not facts yes. opinions so maybe our readers shouldn't get bored with uh, too many opinions but yes. then it happens yeah. opinions make the person lear that's true so appa yeah. unga father was your role model and uh, you know that the great shivaji ganeshan actually has been inspired by your father and he has actually modeled him in his movies and uh, Mm-hmm. so how did this come to happen how did your father in particular get noticed and how did this all come about to be ah then i must tell you my father's story i'll try and make it short hey, my father's name was vp raman uh, he would have been 79 today he passed away almost 20 years ago almost 20 because um, on the 22nd of uh, this month which is 6 days from now his uh, annual tidi ceremony that is not the english date but the tamil tidi the star date or whatever it's called that comes um to the day 20 years uh, my father was uh, an advocate a very brilliant advocate uh, in 1950 the record he set in the madras law college for the highest number of gold medals obtained in the final year that is if they wrote uh, six papers i think he got the gold medal in five or something like that mm. uh, that record still remains unbroken wow it was the highest uh, from the time the madras law college started he was the only man to have achieved that and from 1950 on it still remains unbroken mm. so i guess law was there and he was a very brilliant man a very erudite man who could uh, talk shakespeare who could talk uh, kama sutra he can talk uh, he played the violin he used to be a, it could be a concert could have been a concert violinist carnatic music exponent expert lover of english literature more particularly stuff like shelley and keats and byron and charles dickens and a whole lot of stuff and the movie buff he loved movies he loved uh, very close friend of kanadas no okay that's much later let's go so that was my father's uh, wide uh, he loved cricket oh yes um, wide uh, range of uh, interests and uh, in 55 he married my mother <coughs> 1955 i was born in 1956 so that indirectly i've told your people how old i am it's not no problem mm-hmm. around that time my father was a member of the dmk party one of the founders of the dmk party the dravida munnetra kalagam as it was called it was mm. the undivided dmk it had mgr in it it had karunanidhi it had uh, anna the founder it had nadinjari and madhyaragan and a whole lot of others evk sampath and kannadasan and shivaji ganeshan they were all members mm. of the party mm. and uh, over a period of time post 58 1958 Uh, one by one people got a little disillusioned and left the party mm. not necessarily in the order in which i am mentioning but shivaji ganeshan left my father left kanadasan left evk sampath left much later uh, this all this happened between uh, say 1958 and 1962 and much later in 72 mgr left mm. to form the ai admk ah oh. mgr was a very close uh, Uh, associate my father early years in the party then became a friend literally then my grand my grandfather who was alive till 1958 he had a house next to our house in lloyd road mm. l l o y d lloyd road mm. today it's called avvai shanmugam sale mm. um in lloyd road our house in those days was number 162 mm. my grandfather also owned the house 160 oh so mgr wanted a house on rent mm i nan solradalla 1953 54 before my dad's uh, marriage around the period so 1955 vaakla mgr wanted that house and my grandfather gave that house to mgr and said buy it mm mgr had not yet become a star he had not yet become a big star mm. he had done a few films as hero but he had not yet made uh, money 
So he told my grandfather, and rent could go a customer. How will I uh, buy the house? He said, "The Papa, I have one son. I am leaving one house for him. Mm. You are like my son. Mm. You take this house now. Mm. One day you will become big. Mm. That day you pay the money." Wow. Mm. So, in fact, I still have the document with me, the sale deed between uh, my grandfather and M. G. Ramachandra. Mm. Actually, it was a house they jointly bought. M. G. Ramachandran and his brother, elder brother M. G. Chakrapani. Mm-hmm. So that was the first property M. G. ever bought, and M. G. never ever uh, forgot that uh, thing which my grandfather did for him. Uh, so much so, when M. G. in Anand Vagadan, which is a Tamil weekly, wrote his uh, life story called Nan Yen Piran Jain, mm. the first. part the first episode of the uh, sorry television language the first chapter hmm. uh, carried my grandfather's photograph and his mother's photograph and he said one gave me life the other gave me a house ah. uh mgr head was always very close and uh, because of mgr my father was the advocate you know for a number of people like kannadasan vishwanathan ramurthy hmm. jemini ganesha saroja devi Uh, some matters mr shivaji ganesh and people consulted mm. especially the income tax angles and few other uh, important issues mm. so they were all together mm. for quite some years formative years of all of them they were together in the dravida munetra karagam mm. therefore uh, shivaji knowing my father is quite okay mm. and around 70s late 70s i became a good friend of mr shivaji's son ram kumar mm. so then the friendship between my father and shivaji renewed mm. it it's all it was all uh, complimenting one another and since uh, post 1960s my father completely came out of politics and became an advocate full stop mm. no political leanings mm. so he used to appear for the congress people for the dmk people for kamaraj for periyar everybody mm. raja ji was a very close family friend so you know my house was the hotbed of uh, uh, all political colors meeting and film people meeting in fact i i fondly remembered uh, one thing vishwanathan and ramurthy when they wanted to break up their partnership my father was the one who drew up the dissolution of the partnership that is the breaking up uh, of the deed and years later when both of them rejoined to make music for uh, director vasant's film uh, they met in my house that is not the lloyd road house i stay separate uh, they met and i told vishu na i said ana pirinjada enga veedu unna sendra enga veedu paathingala abdinna he started crying ah oh. uh, man was in tears he said amanda amanda be and thonave illiye to be then he called ramurthy and said yaar theriyada vpr paiya Mm-hmm. and ramurthy then, then i said mentioned it that's one uncle of mine anyway coming back to shivaji ganesh mm. what happened was mr yg parthasarathy mm. the founder of uaa united amateur artists and the mm. father of yg mahindra ygm as he is called his troupe mm. the ua did a play called kannan vandan mm. this kannan vandan was a legal play mm. written by vietnam vedu sundara mm. So YGP said, "I know that court will tell me that this is not going to happen. You are going to be the script and came to my dad mm. and said, uh, 'My my father was known as Bala to his friends, mm. you know, the pet name, so to speak.' He said, 'Bala, I am going to pass you today.' Mm. So my father said, 'I am Tamil now, fast up, buddy, go ahead. If you want to finish it fast, you ask this writer to stay here and read it for me.'" So I remember sitting in the room. I was present. Mm. I must have been all of what eight, ten years old, mm. or a little more, fifteen. Mm. Uh, then 